Happy day, great people. Welcome back to another, another episode of Snapper Speaks. What's going on? Hope you are feeling great. Your day is amazing. And we are going to get right into this video, great people. Okay, so look. <clears throat> my parents, my parents, and you know I like to talking about things going on with youth on this channel, children. This here, I saw this on my brother's page. Shout out to the Five Talent Man on Instagram. He <clears throat> has some great videos. He um, posted this and I was like, wow, this is really good for me to share, especially, especially if you are a believer. And I want to, I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to get right to it and we can talk afterwards. It's a really short clip. So, okay. All right, great people. Protect your children from this at all costs. Yeah. We're going to talk about a new series that was just released on Amazon Prime. And the first two minutes of this video is going to, well, you just have to see it to understand. Check this out. Once upon a time, there was a glowing city protected by golden gates known as heaven. It was ruled by beings of pure light. Angels that worshipped good and shielded all from evil. Lucifer was one of these angels. He was a dreamer with fantastical ideas for all of creation. But he was seen as a troublemaker by the elders of heaven. For they felt his way of thinking was dangerous to the order of their world. So he watched as the angels began to expand the universe in their ways. From the dust of earth they created Adam and Lilith equals as the first of mankind. But despite this, Adam demanded control and Lilith refused to submit to his will. She fled the garden. Drawn in by her fierce independence, Lucifer found- You see how all, it's already twisting the story. I'm sure you're paying attention to that. Found her and the two rebellious dreamers fell deeply in love. Together, they wished to share the magic of free will with humanity, offering the fruit of knowledge to Adam's new bride, Eve, who gladly accepted. But this gift came with a curse, for with this single act of disobedience, evil finally found its way into Earth. With it, a new realm of darkness and sin, and the order heaven had worked to maintain was shattered. As punishment for their reckless act, heaven cast Lucifer and his love into the dark pit he had created, never allowing him to see the good that came from humanity, only the cruel and the wicked. Ashamed, Lucifer lost his will to dream, but Lilith thrived, empowering demonkind with her voice and her songs, and as the numbers of hell grew, so did its power. Threatened by this, heaven made a truly heartless decision, that every year they would send down an army, an extermination, to ensure hell and its sinners could never rise against them. But Lilith's hope remained, and her dream was passed down to their precious daughter, the princess of hell. Don't worry, mom. I'll make you proud. Now, did you notice how... Okay, great people. I don't know... It is so small. I really cannot see his um, TikTok page. But if you're able to see this and go and check out um, some more of his content, this was really, really good. Um, I'm, I'm curious to hear, finish hearing what he's saying. Innocent. They made exactly. the enemy. They made him to just be this dreamer. You know, this he was just a rebel because he wanted to go against their strict rules. Bro, do you see this? Okay, so... That's showing you, that's showing us that how suggestive they're making, you know, hell seem like it's a cool, fun place. And the story is, is twisted all incorrect. So I definitely would not take my kid to see that. I wouldn't. I truly would not take my kid to see that, especially being a believer. Absolutely not. That's completely false information in regards to the story and our word and what the Bible says and how things transpire. We know that's not accurate, but it's a cartoon. Oh, it's just, it, but we already know that the truth is told in jokes. We know that when people want to pass things or want, when, when we, when um, organizations or industries want something to go through and they want to inflict or um, impress upon 
thought, a school of thought, a way, an ideology, a, 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 a process to enact behavior, it's going to come lightly. It's going to come fun. It's going to come, oh, easily accepting. Then you take a bite out of the apple. Then you realize, okay, wait a minute. This is not what I thought it was. But now you've already started getting intertwined in whatever the web is that they've put out there. So I am truly going to suggest don't even waste your money, great people, especially if you are a Christian and you have children that you're raising, small children. Oh, because they're going to ask tons and tons of questions, tons and tons of questions, because that's what kids do. That's what kids do. So if you do decide to take them, please explain everything. But why even put it in their psyche, in their subconscious? Because ain't nothing fun about hell. Every person that I've seen a video and the books that I've read with people who were taken to hell, their spirit, it, it it was they wouldn't wish, wish that place on their worst enemy. It's nothing fun about it. Oh, I know so many people don't even believe it's real. OK, nevertheless, just because you don't believe it's real doesn't mean it's not. So I would truly not spend a dime on this movie. But some people are going to take their kids who are believers anyway, because, oh, it's just a cartoon. I'm going to explain and tell them, um, you know, what the difference is. OK, and you're and you're planting those seeds. You are planting those seeds. Just know those are seeds being planted. I wouldn't even waste my time. Because that is how things get indoctrinated. That's how things embark on. Um, then that's how things get planted. And then curiosity comes. And then new things, um, new ventures, new ways, confusion, all of that. It's just a trail. It's just going to start as a small dot. And then it expands. So parents, zoom in. Zoom in to that one. Zoom in to that one. We have to, we have to tell our kids. We have to tell them the truth. We have to teach them that Christ is the truth, the way, and the life. And there's no one is going to get to God unless it's through him. Per God. Okay, great people. Let me know what you think about this cartoon movie. Would you take your kids to see this? And if so, why? Oh, good snap. It's just a, it's just a cartoon girl. You're making it too, too serious. Okay. I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe to the channel. Share this video. Like and keep coming back, guys. I so appreciate you and I'll see you on the next 